Hi guys, it's Wednesday, April 1st, and I'm just going to send you a quick little English video um, just to kind of touch base with you all and make sure you're on the right track for getting your assignments done and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, the very first thing on Google Classroom that I assigned was a couple weeks ago, and it is optional. Um, it's the book talk. However, I think that, oh, there's my laundry. Um, I think that, you know, when the district go ahead, goes ahead and tells us that we can start grading things, this would be something that um, I would probably offer as extra credit. And um, so I think you should still do it. There's only been about five of you who have turned it in. Um, so keep working on that. But next Friday is the last day um, that I will accept that. So this Friday, April 3rd, is the end of the quarter. So we all will be submitting um, our grades. If you look on Q right now, what your grades um, were before spring break is what they will be for quarter three. So um, I know I said that whatever we do in Google Classroom that I was gonna put in Q, uh, I'm gonna hold off on that right now. I'm just keeping track of it on paper so that when we get the go ahead to uh, count grades, then I'll put them in there. So for now, when you send me assignments, I'll make comments and return it to you, but you won't see a score on it. Um, okay, so we're just kind of going to play that by ear. So for the other stuff for English, um, the stuff for this week was hopefully you read uh, the Last Slave article. Um, there's two parts to it, so you don't need to submit anything yet. You can turn it in by Friday. And so you're supposed to read the article then write the gist, and then for Friday's assignment, and you can do it whenever you want this week, um, it's a little more complicated. You have to write a double-decker quote sandwich. So you can turn that whole document in with both those things by Friday, and that's kind of how we'll do things from here on out, I think, is we will um, send you, you know, this is what we're doing this week in English, and you can decide how you want to do it. Um, you don't have to stick to that schedule of, oh, I'm only going to do English on, you know, Mondays and Fridays. You can do it whenever you want. And just as long as you turn it in when there's the due date, then then you're fine. Um, what else? The other thing I noticed is some of you were not actually turning the assignments in on Google. And so I would get a Gmail from you, you know, with your Google Doc, which is, is perfectly fine. I can do that. But... It actually works better if you just have the assignment, make it, and, and turn it in to me. So let me know if you don't know how to do that. Um, you can always go to, to Google and watch a little YouTube on how to do stuff. I'm still trying to figure out about the um, Google Meet, the Hangout. Um, I think we'll try doing that maybe next week, and I'll put a time up and say, okay, Let's meet Gigi's English at noon on Wednesday, and we can do that. The only issues with that, it can be kind of glitchy if all of you are on and you all have your microphones on. So, you know, you have to have those on mute, and then we can only talk one at a time or it gets really fuzzy because all of us teachers have met with Mrs. Lazovich a few times, and that's happened. So, um, let me think. What else? Hopefully you're you're not stressed out uh, about school and and don't feel like you're overwhelmed with a ton of work. If if you're like my household, it's kind of chaotic at times. It's nice and peaceful right now, but that's because we've got all of our schoolwork done for the day and and the boys are on their phones or whatever they're doing in there. Um, but we usually have three computers going at once, and we're lucky that we have that. So those of you that only have one and you have siblings, I I can imagine it being kind of stressful and. You know, it's nice for my boys because I'm a teacher and they know that I can help them with all their stuff. So if you don't have that and, and you're really struggling, you know, just email me or, you know, send me a video too and I'm, I'm glad to help you. And I'm sure as the weeks go on, you know, I'll have to send you some videos of me teaching stuff. Um, you know, especially when we get into some challenging stuff in English. We're going to read, it's called The Narrative of Frederick Douglass. And if you don't know about Frederick Douglass, you, you will learn a lot about him. Um, and it's pretty intense. And so Engage in New York, of course, wants us to read the text three times. So for sure, I will read it to you once. Um, and you'll read it by yourself. Uh, it can be 
pretty intense and it's very graphic and it's you know all has to do with slavery so anyway um, I think that's it for today hi great and um, I'm trying to think what else I was going to tell you guys I think that's about it um, let me know if you don't understand something Google Classroom we're probably going to send out that newsletter um, I'll make a video probably Sunday night again for you maybe just explaining what's going on for the week um, and that'll be that so hope you're doing well stay healthy and safe bye